Hi guys, thanks for joining me for the seven day flat stomach workout. This is for all fitness levels. Okay, I'm gonna be explaining level one, level two, level three. So if you're just starting out, stay around level one. Then as the days progress, maybe you can venture out into level two, level three. Same thing goes for the more advanced people. So take it at your own pace, be safe, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's warm up first. Remember the entire time when we're doing our stomach workouts, we pull those abs in tight. Let's get a real easy Russian twist to start off with. Pull those abs in tight. Now, if you're just starting out, you can put your hands here for support to just help you, and you can come up higher here. So the lower you go, the more advanced. But in the beginning, even my more advanced people, you wanna stick right here. Just give me this twist, that's it. Woo, warm it up. Awesome. The thing I like about going from step to step, you can, everyone could start it at level one, and then you can gradually go level two, level three. But the great thing is about doing something for seven days is that after you've done it once, you know what's going on. Take a deep breath in, so you know whether you can go straight to two or three if that's your place. Let's go ahead and come down. Level one, we're going to do a flexed foot and extension. So hands here, nice to our necks and shoulders, level one is gonna take it down and press it out, just like this. Pull the stomachs in, the back has to be on the floor. Level two, you're down here, and take it out, and down, you got it. No arch in that back, abs in tight. And only as low with this extension as you feel comfortable. If you're just starting out, it can be way up here. So level one, foot is on the floor. Level two, leg is out. Level three, right in here. Hold, taking it down as tight. At any time, if it's something is too much, give me a flex foot on this. Stop and rest. You can flex the other one too if you'd like. Helps you with the coordination a little bit. Down and take it out. Oh, push. Keep this other knee just in from that hip flexor to help keep that back on the floor. Yes. Woo! Awesome. And let's rest. Legs in. Level one. Left leg on the floor. Hands down here. Remember you come down and you press out. That's level one. You got that? That's home. Good. Here we go. Level two. Down. Press it out. Absolutely no arch and the entire time we're breathing and pulling those abs in so tight. You've got this, guys. Come on, here we go. Woo! And those of you who don't wanna bring the heel all the way to the floor, you don't have to. It's like building blocks. Each time you flip this in, you're gonna go a little bit more. Now level three, down and press it out. Woo! And out. You got it. That's it. Four more, make sure your elbows are in your peripheral vision. That's it. Two more. Woo! Awesome. And bring those knees in, rock back and forth. Okay, we're gonna do what's called a dead bug. All right, this takes a little bit of coordination, so to start off with, our left arm is up, and our right leg is gonna come out. Your other two limbs need to be still. So level one is going to be here, like this. Got it? Add the arm, out, only as low as I temple. That's it, you got it. Level two. Keep those other limbs still. See how that leg and arm stay still? That's it. Good. Flex that foot. Other side, here we go. Hold it. Level two, you can undo that arm and leg. Level one, stick with me. That's it, you've got this. Back on the floor, abs in tight, breathe. Level two, remember you're here. Ho. Oh. Press out through that heel. Four more. Three more. 
two more. Now we're gonna go singles. Here we go. Left arm, right leg, switch, pull, ha. Abs in tight. Don't let the back off the floor. Woo! Only as low as you feel comfortable. Level one can just give me it right here if you'd like, just real little. Stop and take a break. Bring those knees in and rock back and forth. Get a rest. Awesome. And bring that in. Woo! Very good. Okay, we're going to bicycle. Hands down. Easy on our necks. Taking it out. Now point the toe this time. Extend. Now those of you who are just starting out, level one, you're right here. Very small. Level two, out. Reach with that toe like it's a bicycle that's too big and you can barely get to the pedals. Level three, up here. Level four, here. Again, one, down. Level two here, and up. Take it down, level one. Level two, come on up. Level three here. Other way, down. Head up, foo. Arms out. Oh, you're gonna feel those little abs. Woo! Back of the floor. This is a good one. Again, forward, make it small, level one. Head up. Arms out. Deep breath in, Ho. Again, out. And up. And Ho. Or you can go backwards. I like the backwards. Right here, backwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Head down, level one, and in. Wow, I'm sweating. I don't know about you guys, yeah? Okay, let's work our obliques. Here we go. Right side, up, and up. This is level one. You're gonna contract, bring this in tight. Level two, come here, over, over, over. Level three, give me it up, up, and up. Now, rather than thinking of kicking my leg way into my body, I'm gonna keep my leg up here and bring my body up more. Come on, keep those abs in tight, tight. Level one, here, feet on the floor, over. Level two, knee up. Level three, straight leg, over, over. Make sure these elbows don't cross over. Keep it here. And legs down, over. Two, this is level one, breathe. Woo! Now bring those legs up, knees apart, ankles crossed. The knees are about 12 to 14 inches apart. Now rock back and forth like a rocking chair. Rock across the shoulder blades, elbows in the peripheral vision. Out, breathe. Wow, abs in tight. You are gonna feel this. I'm telling you, seven days of this, you guys. Amazing. Stop and rest. Then join me. Woo! Oh, abs in tight, tummy in tight, four more. Three, two, one, and down. Oh, feel that. Now we're gonna continue on those obliques and go to our waist. I want you to take your hands here. You're gonna press the feet down, all right? Level one, right hand behind your head, over and over. Rather than twisting this way, we're thinking of ourselves like on a lazy Susan. We rotate, 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 other side. Now see the rhythm we're at on this? The first time you do it, you can stay at this rhythm. Then maybe after a couple of days, you can double time it. Oh my goodness, wow. Other side, here we go, and take it over one, two, three, reach down that leg. Five, six, seven, switch. Oh, support that head, guys. Five, six, seven, and eight, down. Oh, my goodness. 
Woo! Awesome. Let's go ahead and roll over and we're gonna do some plank. All right, if you haven't done plank before, stick with me. I'm gonna show you the basics on this. We're gonna make sure that our elbows to our shoulders are perpendicular with the floor. Abs must be pulled in. This is level one. Make sure I don't see a tailbone up like this. Tuck it under. You may link your hands like this today or put them here. Now you're gonna hold this. Level one is here. Level two is here. Make sure it doesn't sag. Get that up and tuck that tailbone under. Level one, you're here. Stop and rest at any time. Good. Level one, stay right side, left side, right side, left side. Level two, rainbow. Ho. You can link those hands if you'd like. Two, headlong, headlong. Five, six, seven, and eight. Hold down. Press. Now, plank is too much to start off with. That is absolutely fine, guys. Level one, level two, go back into, into plank this way or down on your elbows. I'm gonna explain to level one, you're here. Hold it and then come back and rest. Level two, you're out here. Level one, back on those knees. Level two is here. Tuck the tailbone under and rest. Go back and rest, level one. Come back, last one on your knees. Hold, two, three, or level two, five, six, seven, and eight. Come on down, back. Woo! We're gonna end how we started with our Russian twist. You guys have done fantastic. Okay, hold this in tight. Oh, I undid my shoelace. Here we go. Over, abs in tight, tight. Level one, you're here. Just a little turn, level one. Feel this, like somebody pulled a drawstring on your belly button, pulled it in here tight, cinched the belt around your waist. That's what we want. Now, make sure you don't round that backpack in here. Keep it nice and tight. Scoop it in. Stop and rest when you want. You can come up here and then come down and do it again. Those of you a little bit more advanced, keep going. Last eight, eight, seven, six, five, four. Back straight, two and one. Oh, woo. Boom, 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 boom. That's great, you guys. Don't leave me. We have to stretch real quick, okay? Let's come on over. Go ahead and lay yourself down. Open cover with the legs. Listen, doing our stomach work, let's press this chest forward as we pull our elbows towards our feet and our chest forward. Remember, our abdominals are just like any other muscle. When we work it, we must stretch. Now, my more advanced people or my yogis, you can take it up if you'd like. I like it right here. It's easy on my lower back, and I'm all about work being effective, but safe, okay? That is my mantra, okay? Working at your own fitness level, alrighty? So that we can continue to get strong, fit, healthy. Come on back into child's pose, stretch back. There you go. And let's come on up. Sit up here, let's get these sides over to your side. Hold that, just support yourself. Oh, nice airplane, perfect timing. You guys, thank you so much. Remember, oh, I forgot to say, that subscribe button down in the bottom. Please subscribe, you guys, uh, to get fit and healthy and hang with me. It's so much fun, I love it with you guys checking in with me and the comments are awesome. And get a friend to start doing this with you and uh, you can do it online together. Thank you so much, until next time, bye-bye guys.